Okay, uh, Prophet Shuaib. And by the way, the pictures that I am using in this uh, uh, presentation are pictures of the ruins of his people. So these are the ruins of Prophet Shuaib. Allah tells us the story of Prophet Shuaib in the Quran. Allah says in the interpretation of the meaning, and to the people of Madian, we sent their brother Shuaib, and he said to them, O oh, my people, worship Allah. You have no other God but him. Clear, Verily, a clear proof from your Lord has come to you. So give full measure and full weight, and do not wrong men in their things, and do not create mischief on the earth after it has been set in order. That is better for you if you are true believers. <clears throat> and sit not on the roads threatening and hindering people from the path of Allah, those who believe in him, seeking to make it crooked. And remember when you were a few and Allah multiplied you and see what was the end of the mischief makers. And if there is a group of you who believes in that, which I have been sent and a group who do not believe, be patient. Be patient until Allah judges between us and he's the best of judges. So as you can see, Prophet Shuaib, after uh, Noah, Prophet Shuaib, just like Prophet Hud and Sully came to the people because the people began to worship idols again. After Allah destroyed the people of Noah and the, the followers who were with him settled on the land and procreated and they worshiped Allah and his oneness without associating partners. But then their offspring began to go back to that worship and idols. And these were the original Arabs. And just for the record, guys, Prophet Moses' wife, Moses married the daughter of Shuaib. When we talk about the story of Moses, you know how Moses came upon the women who were feeding their sheep and he ended up going to, they took them to their father. That was Prophet Shuaib, okay? So Shuaib and Moses were around at the same time. They lived during the same time, guys. And uh, Moses married uh, one of the daughters of Shuaib. So here we can see, you know, uh, uh, Shuaib came with the same message that Noah, that Sully, and the others came with to worship Allah alone. Because again, the people believed in the concept of Allah as a creator, but they didn't believe that he was the only one worthy of worship. And as Shuaib spoke out against the people, the leaders responded. They said to him, we will run you out of here, Shuaib. We will run out not only you, but those who believe with you. And you, we will go back to our own religion. <clears throat> and Shuaib told them, he said, even though we hate it, we should have invented a lie against the law if we returned to your religion after Allah has rescued us from it. In other words, he was saying, why would we uh, return back to your religion? Why would we invent a lie against the law? He said, our Lord comprehends all things. Our law knows everything. And to him do we put our trust. We will never go back to your religion. We will never stop calling the people to Allah to worship him alone. And so the leaders became angry. And they began to threaten the people. They said, if you follow Shuaib, then you will be lost. So Allah took things into his own hands. Allah caused an earthquake to happen while they were asleep at night. Those who, who, who argued against Shuaib, they were all destroyed in their homes. And this is a, a picture of one of the, how the caves fell in on them. As they lay in their beds sleeping, Allah sent an earthquake, which caused them all to die. 
And she waved, turned away from them and said, oh, my people, I conveyed the truth to you. I gave you your the good advice. How can I uh, uh, weep for your destruction? You know, because he didn't have no pity for these people. He didn't pity them at all. He didn't weep for them at all. He said, how can I feel bad about what happened to you when I warned you? I tried to tell you and you didn't listen. And again, the people of Madian, they were uh, Arabs who lived in the country of Mayan, which was part of, of Syria. And these are some of the ruins. If you go to that part of the world, you will see these ruins. Uh, I heard because of this Syrian war, a lot of these ruins have been destroyed. I heard since what's going on over there in Syria, a lot of these ruins have been uh, destroyed. But uh, these were some of the ruins of these people. Uh, this is located in what is known as Greater Syria. They were a greedy people. They did not believe that Allah uh, existed or that he was the one word, only one worthy, a word worthy. And they led wicked lies. They used to cheat, rob, steal. They used to lie to their customers. So Allah sent Shuaib to them with many miracles. Shuaib begged them to be mindful of Allah. He warned them to not cheat, lie, and steal. But they all turned against him and his followers and drove them out of the city. He turned to Allah for help. Allah answered his plea and Allah sent down upon them a scorching heat. When they saw a cloud gathering in the sky, they thought it would bring rain, but instead it brought thunder and caused the earth to quake underneath their feet and the, everything tumbled down on top of them. Okay. Listen to what Allah says in the interpretation of the meaning. The dwellers near Madian disbelieved in the messengers. When Shuaib told them, will you not fear Allah and obey him? I am a trustworthy messenger sent to you. So fear Allah and keep your duty to him and obey me. I don't want any payment from you. My reward is only from Allah. Give good measure and don't cheat others. Stand for what is truthful. Do not defraud people. But of course the people did not listen. They accused him of being crazy, just like they accused Noah and all the other prophets of being bewitched. They told him, you're just a human being. How can you tell us anything? You're just a human being. Who are you? You can't tell me nothing. The same thing that we hear today. You know, this is something that I hear a lot. Who is she? She's just a woman. You are just a woman. You can't tell me anything, Layla. That's what I've been hearing lately. Who is she? I don't want to listen to her. She's just a woman. Oh, yeah, I'm just a girl. I sure am. What are you? Well, that's what they said to the prophets and messengers, too. So Allah sent his punishment to them. Allah destroyed them. And Allah left the ruins behind as a lesson for us today. So when my students come to you saying, oh, this is Sister Layla Nasheba. You know, you should listen to her lectures. I mean, her dawah is different. She's not going to tell you what you want to hear. She's going to speak about what we need to hear, which is our belief system. We need to check our belief system to make sure that it's correct. We need to check our allegiance and make sure it's correct. We need to truly understand what the lawful and the unlawful are. When they come to you telling you that, don't say, oh, she's just a woman. That's right. I'm just a girl. But what are you? That's what they told Shuaib. He's just a man. That's what they told Noah. He's just a man. How can they tell us anything? The same thing that happened to them may happen to you. All right. So I'm going to stop right here for today. 